The Art of Betrayal in the House of Dragon, a study. Welcome to Artificial Radio, where we dive into the nuances of our favorite television shows. Today, we are dissecting the complex web of deceit and betrayal in House of the Dragon. Set in the world of Westeros, this prequel series masterfully explores the art of betrayal, a delicate dance of loyalty, power, and self-preservation. At its core, the art of betrayal is a study of human nature. It's a reflection of our own vulnerabilities, desires, and fears. In the world of House of the Dragon, characters must navigate the intricate politics of the Targaryen court, where allegiances are forged and broken with equal ease. Take, for example, King Viserys' decision to name Rhaenyra his heir. This seemingly straightforward choice belies a deeper web of power struggles and hidden agendas. By naming Rhaenyra, Viserys may be attempting to secure his legacy, but he's also setting the stage for a potential coup. The art of betrayal is already at play, as Viserys' advisors and family members begin to maneuver for position. Now, consider Sir Otto Hightower's role in the events that unfold. As the commander of the Kingsguard, Otto is sworn to protect the king and the realm. Yet, his loyalty is brutally tested when his daughter Rhaenyra is passed over for the crown. This rejection is a classic betrayal, one that threatens to upend Otto's very sense of identity and purpose. As we delve deeper into the series, we see the art of betrayal manifest in various forms. Alicent Hightower, once a loyal companion to Rhaenyra, must navigate a difficult choice between her duty to her husband and her loyalty to the princess. Meanwhile, Demon Targaryen's roguish charm hides a ruthless pragmatism that will stop at nothing to achieve his goals. Throughout the series, these characters continually push the boundaries of loyalty and betrayal. Some may justify their actions as necessary to protect their loved ones or secure their own futures. Others will stop at nothing to eliminate perceived threats, even if it means betraying those closest to them. The art of betrayal is a necessary evil in the game of Thrins. It's a reminder that true power lies not in our ability to wield our swords or magic, but in our capacity to manipulate the emotions and desires of those around us. House of the Dragon masterfully explores the darker aspects of human nature. By examining the intricate web of relationships and power struggles within the Targaryen court, we are forced to confront our own vulnerabilities and the complex dynamics that govern our own relationships. As we reflect on the toxic dynamics of the show, we begin to see the parallels between House of the Dragon and our own world. We see the ravages of nepotism and favoritism, the destructive power of gossip and backstabbing, and the ways in which our basest desires can lead us down a path of self-destruction. The art of betrayal is a multifaceted exploration of human nature, a thought-provoking study of how we choose to navigate the complexities of loyalty, power, and self-preservation. By examining the intricacies of House of the Dragon, we can gain a deeper understanding of ourselves and the social dynamics that govern our own world. As we delve deeper into the world of Westeros, we begin to realize that the art of betrayal is not just a reflection of our darker impulses, but also our most human ones. It's a reminder that even in a fictional world, the stakes are always personal, and the consequences of our choices can be devastating.